Hey, this is uh, P. Buggy coming at you from Heat Scene. So we're in an apartment in New Jersey. Now, I wanted to just show you, this is a huge apartment. They have had bed bugs and management has called us in. If you take a look here, this is where initially the girl who sleeps here, she had found bed bugs. We have what's called data loggers all around. And if you look here, it shows you that's reading at like 138. And here we also are getting a reading also at 138. So bed bugs, the kill rate will be up to about 122 and we'll maintain that for four plus hours. If I'm out of breath, it's because it's really hot in here. It's like 140 to 150 degrees, depending upon where we stand. So it's very hard to breathe. But if you look around, there's a lot of stuff. So most tenants have stuff, right? So if you ask these tenants to put everything in a dryer or wash, they wouldn't do it. It would never, ever, ever get done. It would just be too much money. So all these drawers, if you see here, we have a sensor. This is number seven. All these drawers are being heated up. So this is acting like a very big dryer. And uh, we have the closets that are being heated up. And if you look here, this bedroom is a huge bedroom and it's cluttered. I mean, look at this, it's like so cluttered. You have weights in here. You know, we have the mattresses off the box spring. If you look here, the bed frame, the bed frames are really painted in X. They're wood. And so what we have found in the past with the chemicals is the bed bugs just find places to lay their eggs. And even with the chemicals, we're having a hard time killing them. So in this room, she's got 8,900 pocketbooks, as you see. We're servicing the couch. We got shoe boxes all over the place. We got shoes all over the place. We got makeup, we got sequences. I mean, how can somebody seriously go through this apartment and do a successful job? If we come in here, these ducks are actually burning my feet. If we come in here, we have her living room, right? So again, we, we have moved these and we'll move it again. This couch right here is up to 147 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, 148 degrees. And this is actually burning my freaking leg right here. And this is up to like 143 degrees. And she left some, she was giving a preparation sheet in which she didn't follow all the preparation. So like her candle here is melted. And of course she's gonna complain and yell to management, but it's nobody's fault because this is what she didn't do. So, you know, there is a preparation. We are dealing with heat. It's not like we're gonna burn down the house, but it is gonna melt candles. And, uh, you know, that is a concern. And again, they were given a preparation sheet in which they signed off for. So they are gonna complain. And again, it's not on us, it's on them. If you look there, these whole candles have melted right there. It looks like a work of art. And then we have another bedroom over here. Holy moly, it's hot in here. I'm about to die. Notice I went to the Barry Manilow concert the other day, which I love. That's why I have my Barry Manilow show. But anyway, here is we're at 136. If you look here, and here too, at like 136. And the duck hasn't been here for a few hours. And the duck hours. hasn't been here for a few hours, like 135. And so the heat is just actually penetrating. But the heat is getting everywhere. The heat is getting everywhere, and so that's going to kill bed bugs. Now, what we're going to do is approximately about, I don't know, five, six days, we're going to follow up with a canine team that's independent with us, that's telling it's free and clear. Now, in the past, we used to do a lot of apartments, and we used to do chemical because we didn't have the option, and it was a pain in the neck, and people would not be happy, and they wouldn't clean their clothes or dry their clothes, and uh, this has taken the place of that. So we know that most tenants are not going to cooperate. That's just the mentality of the tenant. However, with the heat, we can then also work with their non-cooperation as opposed to against. So this is a one-time treatment as opposed to coming back five, six times. The house looks like a shambles. When we are done, we're gonna put the bed back in place. We're gonna open up the windows. We're gonna air it out. We're gonna close the drawers. I mean, it's, it's, it's very cluttered, this apartment, but it's not gonna be as cluttered when we get done with it, all right? So listen, if you need us, give us a call. I don't even know what my number is right now. I'm so hot. but. Look on the website, which is www.everythingbedbugs.com, or give us a call at, uh, I don't know, I think 732-777-6857. Travis is laughing because I'm telling you, my brain is frying right now. It's very, very hot in here. And uh, this is more money. This is big money. However, the success rate is a lot higher. So even some landlords are talking about before tenants even move in, they would then make them do this in their U-Haul truck, and we can actually do that for them. So if you need us, Find us, search us, call us, 
everythingbedbugs.com or 732-777-6857. Hey, listen, I'm P. Buggy, and I approve this message. Ciao.